I'm Harish Kuriti and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to continue our Amazon Connect journey um, and the topic for today is how do you customize Amazon Connect chat wizard and integrate it with your website. So this is very important because that will be the first point of contact like when, when um, you know when your customers visit your website and want to interact with the support team it will be through the website so the amazon connect chat wizard uh, uh, widget will integrate uh, you can embed it to your into your website so that your customers can connect connect with your support team through the website so let's let's see how it, it can be done um, so there are a bunch of steps that we have to follow and uh, there are a sequence of steps actually and i'll show you how to get it done right so first thing is you log in obviously to uh, to your AWS console. Then you go to your Amazon Connect instance. Log into your Amazon Connect instance. Then you will see uh, an option called Customize Chat Widget, right? So this is what you click on. And there are a bunch of customizations that you can do, uh, right? So here, let's start with the interface type interface which is like the font so you can pick a font that you want um, right you know, what works for you that's the font uh, right then the header message how can we help you can change it as well uh, right and then uh, i'll just change it back to default and then you can change this header color right i can change it to let's just say some some if you can see right so something like this right then you can uh, chat background color you can select any other color right oh, but let's just give i prefer white agent bubble color is nothing but the agent like the bubble that that you know the like if you will not to see this is the agent bubble right so um it is little gray let's just keep it little gray the logo URL. This is so you have. If you have your logo uh, on in S3, you can specify the URL here. In order to do that, there is there are some steps. You upload your logo to S3 and add a bucket policy so that you make the logo public. So let's do that, and I'll show you how it's done. Um, so let's uh, search for service S3. So first thing is you need to have a bucket that is that allows objects to be public. So I have already a, a, a public bucket. Then I also have the logo upload. I uploaded the logo here. Um, so what I need to do is I even though I uploaded the logo, if you copy this, try to access this URL, it's not um, it's not uh, it's not available. So what I need to do is I need to add a bucket policy to the bucket. So I'll go ahead and do that. Permissions, bucket policies. You can open the policy generator and then select S3 bucket policy. If you, if you can just type it in, you can just type it. And this is the easier way to, what we want to do is you want to do get object basically. And I think it's here. Amazon resource name, we want to um, enable the the bucket policy on the on the logo. So I'll I'll show you how to pick the URM ARN sorry. So this is the ARN for that. So you select that policy generator, paste it, and then you select add statement. And then generate policy you get the policy statement copy it put it in the bucket policy and save the changes right and now if you go back to your thing and you copy the url and try to access it you should be able to see the logo right so this is now it's public and available so you now you copy that logo url and you paste it over here and sometimes it renders, sometimes it doesn't in the preview. Don't worry about it. When you integrate it, it should render. Otherwise, you have to make changes to your logo image. If that is not perfectly done, uh, I mean, not in, in the right con uh, size or, or pixel settings, uh, resolution, yeah, sorry, that's the word, um, then you'll have some problems. But 
uh, we'll see how it goes um, so system message do you want just say system message or you know um, do you want to change the wording right for bot i i prefer um cloud optimized bot right so just to and then text input character uh for text input placeholder um, is the size like how many characters you want to put right and then end chat you want to say do you want to say end chat or whatever so i i will say uh, and i'll family case neither then the start icon color what color do you want right you want to make blue or whatever um, right so it doesn't matter so when this is done message receipts um like make sure if you want to um the customers to know that whether you read the message or not this is enabled by default it's enabled and let's leave it like that um, finally the contact flow this is the important part for the whole customization really this is where you decide how the customer experience will be uh, i don't have any custom flows at this time but i have the sample flows let's just say uh, we'll pick a, uh, a, a, a sample flow and current sample inbound flow first contact experience we'll select that flow and then you will see the next option so you will see this here this is where you tie your website you can add this chat widget to multiple domains right so uh, we'll just add one one thing right and then that's that's my website and add security for new chat requests we'll skip this step Here's the main thing I'll talk about. This is this is in itself is a topic to discuss because this is really important. Like JSON Web Tokens enabling the security will help you uh, welcome or uh, allow chats only from validated users into into your contact center. But right now we are not running a production contact center, so I don't I didn't enable it. Um, but I'll talk about it in detail in another video. But this is what we do now. What we do is we just save this. And then you get the chat um, chat widget script what you do is you copy the script right and then you go ahead and embed it in the uh, um, and paste it on the website page uh, where your chat uh, widget will appear so I copied the script now um, let me pause this video for a second so let me open the my my website and then I'll, I'll show you once it's pasted how, how, how it gets shown so uh, I'll get back to you in a second. So I have added, um, so I use Wix obviously as you see uh, and I have added and you will see the little uh, chat icon here. Um, so that's the Amazon Connect chat widget embedded on my website. So in the next video we'll talk about how to secure it and how to actually go ahead and use it through for interactions um, with amazon connect so i hope this video is useful on how to upload your logo how to customize your chat wizard and how to embed it uh, in in uh, into wix so if you are i mean if you are also using wix it's basically simple you go to your website settings you can either add it in the head section or the body section um, i for some reason if i add it in head section i'm getting an error so i did it in the body uh, body section so you copy that code and you basically go ahead and paste it here and you either you want you want to put the chat wizard uh, widget on one page or all pages i prefer to do it on all pages and load once uh, is my setting uh, right um, so that's a bit, that's basically it. Um, so that that that's pretty straightforward. If you are using Wix, you can do the same. So I hope this video is useful. So in the next video, we'll talk about securing your chat widget and also about um, uh, yeah and about uh, how to communicate with chat and agent and interactions of how the flow works. Um, so I hope this video is useful. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.